Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Zaitun Usman, and uh, this paper is on the interplay of financial literacy, attitude, and behavior among university students. This paper are also co-written by three other members of this project, uh, namely Dr. Associate Professor Dr. Grace Pang, Dr. Amir Azlan, and Dr. Izan Aryan Abdul Jamil. Uh, we are from the Faculty of Business, Economics, and Accountancy, University of Malaysia Sabah. And this study aims to investigate the relationship between financial literacy, attitudes, and behavior among university students. Um, this study also aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of these factors and how they influence financial decision making. By definition, financial behavior encompasses all decision and actions individuals undertake concerning their financial resources, including saving, investing, borrowing, and spending. Uh, it is a critical aspect of personal finance management as it shapes individual financial well-being and long-term financial security. Financial behavior is a complex process influenced by various factors, including financial literacy, attitude, and social economic condition. Understanding financial behavior is crucial for policymakers, financial institutions, and educators in order to design effective financial literacy program and promote responsible financial decision making. For example, as for saving, putting aside money for future use such as retirement, emergencies, and specific goals are essentials for every level of individuals, as well as investing, uh, giving ideas on how to use money to acquire assets with potential to generate returns such as stocks, bonds, or real estate is very important. Financial attitude represents an individual belief, feeling, or predisposition towards financial matters. These attitudes are shaped by a complex interplay of factors including personal experiences, cultural norms, family upbringing, education, and societal influence, for example. Individual with positive financial attitudes tends to prioritize saving, invest prudently, and make informed financial decisions. Research suggested that financial attitudes have significant influence on financial behavior. Individuals with positive financial attitudes are more likely to engage in a proactive financial management, such as in saving, budgeting, or in investment. On the other hand, negative attitudes such as a fear of debt or lack of confidence in financial market can lead to avoidance behavior, such as impulsive spending or delaying in financial planning. Basic financial literacy encompasses fundamental knowledge and skill necessary for managing personal, financial, personal finances effectively. It involves understanding basic financial concepts such as interest rates, inflation, and risk diversification, and applying this knowledge to make informed financial decisions in everyday life. For instance, understanding interest rates allows individuals to make informed choices about borrowing and saving, while comprehending inflation helps them make better spending decisions. Meanwhile, advanced financial literacy goes beyond basic understanding and it involves a deeper knowledge of financial concepts, tools, and strategy. Advanced financial, plan financial literacy in includes understanding more complex concepts such as investment vehicle, financial market, and risk management, and applying this knowledge to make informed financial decisions in a more sophisticated manner. For example, advanced financial literacy empowers individuals to make informed investment decisions, understand the intricacy of financial markets, and effectively manage their financial risk. This study investigates the influence of financial attitudes on financial behavior, 
and explores the role of financial literacy in this relationship. The research, the research question aims to understand the specific impact of advanced financial literacy and financial attitudes on students' financial behavior. Specifically, the research, uh, this research investigates whether advanced financial literacy has a direct impact on financial behavior and whether it moderates the relationship between financial attitudes and behavior. Based on the research questions, the study proposed four specific hypotheses. Hypothesis 1 examined the difference in advanced financial literacy level across demographic groups such as age, gender, and program study. Hypothesis 2 explored the direct influence of advanced financial literacy on students' financial behavior. Meanwhile, Hypothesis 3 investigate the relationship between financial attitudes and student financial behavior. And finally, Hypothesis 4 examines the moderating effect of advanced financial literacy on the relationship between financial attitudes and financial behavior. This study hypothesized that advanced financial literacy will significantly influence student financial behavior with advanced financial literacy acting as a moderator in the relationship between financial attitudes and behavior. Furthermore, the study expect to find significant difference in advanced financial literacy level across different demographic groups such as gender, age, and program study. These hypotheses guide the study analysis and help to understand the interplay of financial literacy, attitude, and behavior among university students. For methodology, the study design, um, this study employed a quantitative approach utilizing a cross-sectional design to assess the relationship between financial literacy, attitude, and behavior among university students. This design involved collecting data from a single point in time to capture the current states of these variables among the study participants. This study design allowed for an examination of the association between the variables, providing insights into the influence of financial literacy and attitudes on financial behavior. The measurement items for questionnaire development on assessing financial literacy were adapted from Lusardi's work in 2015, which has been widely recognized for its robustness and validity. Items for evaluating financial attitudes and behavior were drawn from the research of Koskun and Dezil, 2020, ensuring the comprehensive evaluation of these constructs. The study utilizes validated instruments to measure financial literacy, attitude, and financial behavior. Financial literacy is measuring using is measured using a comprehensive questions covering various aspects of financial concept, including budgeting, saving, investing, and risk management. Meanwhile, financial attitudes are assessed using a validated scale that captures individual belief, feeling, and predispositions towards financial matters. Finally, financial behavior is measured through a questionnaire that explores participant financial habits, including saving patterns, spending behaviors, spending habits, and also debt management practices. From these slides, you can see that the statistics, um, the descriptive analysis are drawn to help us to understand the basic characteristics of the sample and provide an initial overview of the overall data collected. The independent sample T-test and ANOVA uh, help to identify potential differences in financial literacy, attitude, and behavior across different demographic groups such as age, gender, and program study. Meanwhile, the structural equation models allows for simultaneous analysis of multiple relationships and it will provide insights into the direct or indirect effect of financial literacy, attitude, and behavior on each other. So this study involved a, a sample of 30 university students who enrolled in finance-related courses at University of Malaysia Sabah. And this sample provided a sufficient data for analysis, which allows for meaningful insights into the relationship between financial literacy, attitude, and behavior among students. Uh, a notable trend observed during the study was an increased participation rate among female students 
which suggests a growing interest in financial education among women and um, which is crucial for promoting financial inclusion and empowering them to manage their own finances effectively. The average age of participants um, were about 25 years old uh, and this potentially indicates a greater maturity and life experiences which include uh, which could influence financial literacy attitudes and financial behavior. And this also highlights the importance of considering financial needs and as, uh, aspiration for students across different age. And the study also found that um, students are participating in these studies are enrolled in different finance program or finance courses, which indicates a potential for diverse background and experience among participants, which is also important to consider when analyzing the funding and drawing the conclusion. Uh, some of them might enroll in basic courses and some are already in their advanced courses. The data was collected uh, and processed uh, commencing the beginning of the week, i.e. during week one, uh, with the distribution of self-administrated questionnaire to all participants. And this questionnaire comprised of four sections, uh, which are designed to measure the financial literacy, attitude and behavior, along with demographic information. The questionnaire was distributed uh, to students during their designated classes, ensuring a wide reach of participation. After 14 weeks of lectures and coursework, the same, question, um, same questionnaire was redistributed to participants at the end of the semester. This second round of data collection aimed to assess of any changes in their financial literacy, attitude and behavior that may have occurred over the course of the semesters after they have gained some ideas or some information and knowledge while going through the semesters. The data collected at both time, uh, point of time provide valuable insights into the dynamics of relationship between financial literacy, attitudes, and financial behavior. And the study revealed a notable, uh, notable increase in student performance on advanced financial, lit financial literacy questions after 14 weeks of lectures. This indicate that exposure to financial education through coursework contributed to enhance understanding of a complex financial concept and strategy. Uh, the independent sample t-test results has no, uh, resulted in no significant difference between male and female students, uh, which suggested that gender do not play a significant role in determining students' financial, financial literacy indicating both males and females have equal opportunity to acquire financial knowledge. The one-way ANOVA analysis uh, reveal a significant difference in advanced financial literacy across different academic programs, which suggested that students enrolled in specific finance-related programs have a greater understanding of advanced financial concepts than those enrolled in other programs. So the results for both financial attitude and financial behavior indicated an excellent internal consistency with high Gombrach Alpha and composite reliability score. Additionally, the ABA values for both constructs were above the accept acceptable threshold, indic indicating a good convergent validity. This finding confirmed that reliability and validity of the measures used in this study, providing a solid foundation for the analysis of relationship between all the variables. Hypothesis 2, which investigated the direct influence of advanced financial literacy on student financial behavior, did not reveal a statistically significant relationship. This suggests that advanced financial literacy alone may not be sufficient to influence student financial decision. Meanwhile, the result of Hypothesis 3 indicated a significant positive relationship between financial attitudes and student financial behavior. These findings underscores the crucial roles of financial attitude in shaping student financial decision-making processes. And lastly, financial, uh, hypothesis for uh, results which aim to examine the moderating effect of advanced financial literacy on the relationship between financial attitude and behavior reveal a significant interaction effect. These findings suggest that advanced financial literacy strengthened the influence of financial attitudes on student financial behavior. As a conclusion and recommendation, the study revealed a significant findings 
advanced financial literacy alone did not have a direct influence on student financial behavior. While possessing in knowledge about financial concept is essential, it is not a guarantee for positive financial behavior. This suggests that merely imparting knowledge is not sufficient to promote responsible financial decision making. In contrast to financial literacy, financial attitude plays a crucial role in shaping student financial behavior. Students with positive financial attitude were more likely to engage in a proactive financial management, such as saving, budgeting, and investing. This highlights the importance of fostering positive financial attitude alongside financial literacy. The study discovers a crucial interplay between advanced financial literacy and financial attitudes. The interaction effect shows that when students possess both advanced financial literacy and positive financial attitude, their financial behavior was significantly enhanced. This finding suggests that effectively integrating knowledge with positive attitude is crucial for promoting responsible financial behavior. As for recommendation, financial education programs should go beyond simply imparting knowledge and incorporating strategies to cultivate positive financial attitude. By addressing both, both connective and also emotional aspects, educators can empower students to make informed financial decisions and develop responsible financial habits. Recognizing the diverse needs and background of students, educators should develop targeted intervention to address the specific financial challenge faced by def different demographic groups. This could involve tailoring financial education program to address the unique financial literacy needs of students from low-income families, those with disabilities, and those pursuing specific academic programs. To maximize students' engagement and promote lasting learning, Educators should make financial education relevant to student life. This could involve using real-life case studies, interactive sim simulation, and also practical exercises to demonstrate the application of financial concepts in everyday situation. Engaging learning strategy can foster a deeper understanding of financial principle and motivate students to apply their knowledge to their personal, fin personal finances. And policymakers should also actively support initi initiatives that promote financial literacy among general public, especially for young adults. This could include providing funds for financial education programs, encouraging the development of educational materials, and advocating for mandatory financial trainings in schools or in the university. For instance, government can offer tax incentive for financial education or institution that provide free financial literacy resources to customers or to their own students. By prioritizing financial literacy, policymakers can contribute to a financially empowered society. Policymakers should foster collaboration between government agency, financial institution, and educational institution to promote financial literacy. This could involve joining, uh, developing joint initiatives such as financial literacy workshop, mentoring programs, and also interactive learning platform. For example, the government could partner with banks to offer free financial literacy workshop for students, while educational institutions could collaborate with investment firms to provide career counseling or internship opportunities. Financial institutions can also play a crucial role in promoting financial literacy by partnering with educational institutions. Uh, this could also involve offering scholarship, internship, and mentorship program to students, for example. Bank could sponsor financial literacy workshop at university, providing students with hands-on experience and practical advices. And they can also provide valuable resources and support to students to develop financial skills, uh, which could include offering free financial planning tools, access to educational materials, and workshops on topics such as budgeting, saving, and investing. Uh, for instance, they could offer online financial literacy courses for students covering topics um, which is very dynamic, stock market basics, portfolio uh, management, or risk analysis. Explore, uh, exploring the effectiveness of various financial education approaches and strategy would be beneficial. Investigating the impact of different teaching methods, delivery modes, and also program design could help identify the most effective ways to promote financial literacy and positive financial attitudes among students. 
Future research should explore deeper into the role of social factors and cultural influences on behavioral, financial behavior. Exploring how cultural norms, peer pressures, social network impact on financial decision making can provide a more holistic understanding of financial behavior. Conducting longitudinal studies to assess the impact of financial education intervention on students' financial behavior over time will provide valuable insights. Tracking changes in financial literacy, attitude, and behavior over extended period can help researchers understand the effectiveness of different interventions and identify areas for improvement. Uh, the study focused on student enrolled in finance-related courses could potentially limit the applicability of the findings to students pursuing other fields of study. Students in non-finance major might have different financial literacy level, attitude and behavior, which could influence the study's results. Future research could expand the study to encompass a broader range of academic discipline to capture a more comprehensive understanding of financial literacy, attitude and behavior among university students. And this study sample limit to 300 university students at UMS may not be representative of the broader student population of this university or in Sabah as, as general. This restricted sample size may limit the general, generalizability of the finding to other university and institution. As we come to the conclusion, uh, the key takeaways of this paper is that there is a strong positive impact of financial attitudes on financial behavior. Positive financial attitudes such as a desire to save and invest are crucial in shaping students' decision and action. This underscores the importance of fostering positive financial attitudes alongside with financial knowledge. Uh, advanced financial literacy itself is very much known as crucial and essential, but alone it does not guarantee a positive financial behavior. Advanced financial literacy needs to be coupled with positive financial attitudes to significantly enhance financial well-being. And the finding highlights the importance of holistic approach to financial education, integrating both um, financial knowledge with a positive attitude components. Recognizing the diverse needs of uh, and background of students, educators should develop targeted intervention to address the specific financial challenges faced by different demographic groups. Uh, this could involve in tailoring financial education program, especially in micro credentials, to address the unique financial literacy needs of students from low income families to those with disabilities or those pursuing specific academic programs. Uh, with that, thank you very much for watching and um, all the best to you. Thank you. Bye.